What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 19 AC Milan career mode on the channel. Uh, what we're going to do in this video today guys really is just play a couple of matches, uh, so that is pretty much all we can do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we've got a big game against Roma coming up here. Um, and as you can see by going off of the, the league table, we're actually pretty close. So there's, well, we are next to each other in the league. Um, and there's a lot of teams that are all on the same amount of points. There's, there's eight teams all on four, though Sam Dora have played an extra match. But still, at this stage of the season, obviously makes it very, very tight. Now, that does mean that the drawing is Napoli was obviously not too bad in the uh, previous match. Um, and it's quite surprising really, I thought that at least one team would have a 100% record after just two matches. Um, it seems hard to believe that there's not at least one team that could have won them both. So um, we will definitely take that, considering we have already chalked off one of the hardest games of the season. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this first match. Now, in terms of team news, I'm just going to be playing pretty much the same team as always, except I'm going to give debuts to Fairpo and Kibalos. Uh, Cabal is going to play just off of Pietek and Catrone and then Firpo just play left back. Um, it means obviously we've got Chalamo going to be playing a little bit deeper. But honestly that's that's absolutely fine. Um, and I'm not going to make any other changes to the team right now just because the games aren't really coming that thick and fast at the moment. So there's not really any need to do it in terms of keeping players fresh or anything like that. So I feel like big game against Roma we'll just go for the strongest possible team that we can. And yeah, hopefully we will pick up three points. So uh, yeah, let's jump into the match. Oh, wow. What a cross that was by Firpo. Gets an assist on, well, four minutes into his debut and what I had by Piatek as well. Incredible. Honestly, a replay of this, I want to see, like, I think the keeper kind of put it into the floor when he saved it, but it's a great delivery by Fairfoot. What a header. Ah, okay, so it hits his hand and then goes down to the floor by himself. Fair play. I mean, the, the header was actually straight at him, but it was just so much power behind it. Oh, that was top class. What a start. What a start at San Siro. Oh no, that's a good pass. Oh wow. What a save by Donnarumma. Is that Marlos? Like, when does that Marlos? Wait. What? How? How is that a penalty? Sorry guys, I, I don't have the volume up, like at the commentary, so I, I don't hear it when the commentator is like, oh yeah, like it's a penalty or whatever, like what the, what the hell? What did I do? I need to see this, what? Oh my god, man, are you, are you really, no. Like, seriously. So just because he kind of, like, runs into the back of him after he's like, no, no. That's not a penalty. Never in a million years is that a penalty. We're just going to have to fucking save it now. Get it! <laughs> to be honest, guys, that was a uh, pretty actionless first half I have to say not really a lot not a lot going on at either end really but we are in front so at, at the end of the day that's that's all we need we need that goal to get us in front so we will take that they've had a couple, a couple extra shots but nothing that I would say is like a proper chance so yeah I mean hence why you guys haven't seen it but not any real like proper opportunities for them except from the penalty of course but I, even that wasn't really a penalty. I suppose I was to say the, the shot that led to the penalty, that was more of a legitimate chance, but um, you know, that, that was saved as well. So, so far, so good. Slip. 
play. Katrina! Win that. Are you serious? Like, I just cannot be happening. Where did he head that from? Like, pretty much the edge of the box. A straight clipped ball forward. Oh my god, it, it, like... Bakayoko basically pretended to jump. He didn't actually get off the floor. Rob Magnoli just didn't even bother. It's not even a good header. The keeper's just miles out of his goal. God, literally, you, you work all game, man. You work all game just to have it thrown away like that. All right, we got to go for it now. Good cross. Go on! Oh! Oh, what a pass! Is it, is it stood? It has. Come on! Who actually tucked that away? I don't even know. Who just tucked that away? I didn't even look. Oh, yes! Giacomo! What a hero. Come on. Come on. That's, there's no way back for them now. What a pass that was as well. Absolutely just defense split, that's delicious. And the finish was even better. That was just one of those moments where I was like, I don't care who this is, what their like preferred foot was, just hit the shot and fucking stick it away, please. And thank God he did. Get in. Come on, we've got a bit of a habit of scoring some late goals. My God, <laughs> look at Zonzi, he's absolutely deflated. He thought he'd snatched him a point, but it just wasn't to be. Bonaventura had the other ideas, and the three points are staying at the San Siro, which I have to say I'm delighted about, because for me, that's a massive statement. I mean... You come out of those, you come out of the first three matches and two of them are against Napoli and Roma and you, and you pull out four points, I mean, you cannot complain, you honestly cannot complain about that. Um, as you see by stats, very, very tight match, nothing really going on at all, yet we managed to uh, do enough to grind out the result, despite making a, a really, really costly mistake to us for, the, for their goal, it was just really, really poor defending, but... Um, we did enough, and as you can see, that puts us top of the league somehow. Um, and all the teams seem to have played three matches. Juventus lost, which is massive. Parma, obviously, up there with us. Um, Inter on six, so they're not far behind. Which, I mean, if, if it's up there between Inter and AC, that's going to make for a very, very interesting season. Uh, Goals-wise, we've got Piatek is up level with Perisic and Pavoletti for the golden boot so yeah right i'm gonna quickly skip my way through some of these days towards the next match because obviously the next one is well on the 15th against calorie um possibly some sort of international break i don't really know what's going on there so uh yeah we will we will rejoin when i'm about to play that match i'll be right back all right, guys, so we're on game day now, uh, away game against Cagliari. Um, I'm going to make a couple of changes to start 11, just because I want to, like, just try out a few different players, really. Obviously, you know, you can see we're completely fresh. We haven't played in ages, but um, I feel like we want to give some other players a little bit of a run out. Um, so I'm going to start Rodriguez at left back this time, because he was always going to be the, uh, the first choice left back, and because of the injury, he never really got a chance to get into the team. So I feel, you know... He definitely deserves a chance to play. Um, let's play Masakio instead of Calder. I know like the form thing doesn't look great there, but why not? Um, let's give Julia a go instead of Bakayoko. Uh, Paqueta can start instead of instead of Chalanoglu because I want to keep Kabalos in there. I feel like he only played one game, 
so far and it wasn't even a full game. I didn't even play him in fair play for the whole 90 minutes. I actually subbed him off after about 70, 75 minutes, something like that. Um, so yeah, we, we'll do that. Uh, Suso definitely deserves a start. I mean, he's whenever he comes on, he's really, really good. And to be honest, he's one of the highest rated players that we have. And I feel really bad that we don't play him anyway, um, just purely because of the formation that we're in. That's why he doesn't seem to play. Um, Castellejo, I don't think I can quite get in at the moment. I don't want to have too many really, really attacking players in there. Bonaventura is quite an energetic box-to-box -box midfielder, so we'll probably have him in there just to... Uh, solidify the team up a little bit and we're not playing against one of the strongest teams in the, in the league but you know that's sometimes the games that you can uh, you can falter on so we shouldn't get too cocky um, let's play at Barta instead of Calabria as well um, but I don't think I really want to play any of these guys just yet I mean maybe let's let's have Kessie on the bench instead of Bakayoko so maybe give him a little bit of run out um, but that right there will be fine and we'll save that to the team sheet um, so yeah, I'm not sure where Cagliari are in the league. Let's just quickly check that out before we do continue. I say they're not one of the strongest teams. They're actually ninth right now. I mean, that obviously doesn't mean a lot at this stage of the season because they may have literally played against the three bottom sides there. So they might not have been like overly impressive. But then again, it's still a team in the top half. We have to treat them with a bit of respect. So let's head into this next match. We've got a chance already. Paqueta! Oh, seriously. He just didn't let it run across his body enough. He, he got the right like the right strike on the ball, the way he got that little bit of swaz for it just curled back him round, but he didn't set it out in the right position. And you know that's Granny's obviously not meant to be like a clinical finisher but so far in this season he's had two massive chances in two different games and he's he's fluffed his lines both times so um you know he's he's got to get back into my good books oh wow a fair play i mean <laughs> I couldn't get back to, to track him with Rodriguez because he was too slow and then I, I didn't really want to like completely drag the centre back out across so I was trying to do it slowly and just close him down just so he was about to put the cross in and we, we just couldn't get to him um, and I mean fair play like what a delivery you can see Rodriguez there he's never going to get to him he's way too slow and that's a thumping header fair play I mean I can't really complain about the guy that was marking too much like it was always going to be a, a difficult matchup for a Barté that. That was a great header. And uh, yeah, I had a feeling that that's Pavoletti, who's actually puts him out front now for the uh, for the golden boot. Up onto four goals already this season. Four and four for him. Very impressive. Oh, here we go. Cavalos. It's nice. It's down the outside. Hang up. Cross, win that! Oh, unlucky. It was good effort. Play that in behind. It's a nice hit space. That's a good play. Takes a shot on. Oh, unlucky. Half time. 1-0 down at the break. I mean, I can't really see really the break down. I've got to say, I'm, I'm finding this pretty difficult. Um, they only really had the one opportunity. I, I'm interested in the stats, actually, to see what it says. I don't think there's been many shots in the game, really. Um, they've had literally the one shot. They've scored it, but it was it was a pretty good opportunity, and they, they took it. I mean, we've had a couple of shots. I wouldn't really say, like, proper chances. I think the two shots we've had on target have been long shots, so nothing really clear cut for us. Um, I think I should probably make a change, although I don't know exactly what. I mean, probably let's let's go for Castillejo. Let, imagine you can tell Caballos because he hasn't really done anything in that half, so I, I'm going to hook him off. Uh, we'll, we'll go Castillejo. We'll see if that changes anything. Hopefully, we can uh, have a slightly better second half. Oh, that's a shocking pass by them, so we might have a chance here. Great little spin, gonna get the shot off. Oh, here we go, chance we get in here. One more. 
whip that right round. Oh, oh that's a great header. Put that cross. Get in. What a move. Let's go. Come on, that's superb. To dig out that ball across as well. And it's Paqueta. What did I say? He needs to get back in my good books. And he's done it. He's done it with a goal there. It's a brilliant header to get Piatek in. And then even on the stretch, he still managed to get the accuracy on that cross. Absolutely perfect. And then the finish. Obviously, pretty simple, but you've got to be there and you've got to put it away. I've seen people miss that before. It happens all the time on this game. Um, so, yeah. Thank God we are level and hopefully we can go on and, and win this game. Let's finish it as the draw, guys. I mean, I'm disappointed because, you, you know, it's, it's an away game and it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's a draw. You know, it's, it's early days in the season. But when you've just done so well to claim those points against the bigger name sides, you want to back it up with a victory against a smaller team. Um, and I feel like that's an opportunity missed. Oh, I do. I feel like that's something we need to, we need to sort out. For the rest of the season we need to be picking up the wins against these little teams because else anything that we do against the bigger sides all that energy is just going to be for nothing we don't want to have this inconsistency in results we need to be chalking up wins constantly um what is that background change <laughs> i have not seen that before well this is new this year isn't it with all this europa league and champions league stuff so um that is interesting so obviously the next game is the olympiacos game isn't it um we're not going to go into that just yet I'm going to leave it there for this video guys, um, I hope you did enjoy it, um, if you did the feel free to leave a like, comment to let me know who you want to see playing in this up and coming game, uh, if there's any particular players you don't think I've been using too much or if there's players that you think I have been using and I really shouldn't be using them, um, then let me know. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you want to do that, that would be much appreciated, but that's it for me guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you later.